Hey everyone, it's ADS Toddcast here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at Series 12 V-Dub from Greenlight. Um, this is a pretty cool series. Um, definitely excited for a couple of pieces in this. Um, I'll show you the, the cars uh, and the packages really quickly and then I'll cut and open them up and uh, clean them up. Hopefully we don't have any damaged cars. Um, as well, we do have a bunch of uh, random... Loose V-dubs, we'll just have, show that at the end of the video as a bit of a bonus. Um, I got those today from a buddy of mine. And yeah, so I'll show you these real quick. And then I'll cut the video, like I said, and we'll open them up. And I'll look at them closer. And the first one we're going to look at here is the Indian Motorcycle 72T2 panel. This one's pretty dang cool. Uh, series 13, I believe, has an Indian motorcycle um, truck, the cab pickup, whatever, with the motorcycles in the back. And I'm very excited to have that one, especially with this piece here. It'll look good as a pair. Um, I, I, I kind of want to go on a rant about V-Dub. Um, packaging really hasn't changed at all in ages, ever since the beginning, actually. It's never changed. Um, so there's that one. This one, honestly, it definitely my top three, if not my favorite. I mean, we'll look at it closer, but you can see those wheels are fantastic. That paint is just insane. It's so vibrant. Green interior a little bit. Um, that one's pretty cool. 75 Golf. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have talked about it before, but I'm not really sure what Dreamlight's doing. I should try to contact somebody and, and see something or, or the reasoning behind something. I, I don't know. But they need to get more toolings for V-Dub, um, the series, or can the series. I mean, really, I, I prefer they didn't. But I don't know. I, there's a lot of uh, a lot of cool Volkswagens out there. Um, they could do change from V-Dub to V-Dub uh, Audi Group with anything involving that, maybe. I don't know. Like Mark IV Golfs. There's plenty of those that people would probably want. Um, gosh, there, there is a lot of Volkswagens that they probably could create. And for some reason, they just don't. There's nobody that makes the Jetta, which I know is not the most fantastic car in the world, but just something different because they keep making these panel vans and these buses like thousands of them I swear and just over and over and over and over again I'll still keep buying them because I love them but eventually it's like holy can we see some new castings here but um yeah I don't know maybe I'll be able to contact somebody and maybe somebody will hear me out maybe somebody's listening and they're trying to do stuff and they can't get licensing who knows but anyways, we have the 77 Volkswagen Rabbit, and it's almost like a Miami blue with a peanut butter interior. Love this one. That one's cool. And the next Volkswagen bus, 64 bus in the Pan Am livery here. That one's pretty cool in white. Like blue. Um, I think this is a Mexican taxi. I will always want to get the taxis and the police vehicles from Volkswagen. They just look really cool. So, another one that's great. Series 13 is going to be a great set. There are some sets or some series from B-Dub that are kind of like, meh, it's okay. But Series 13 with that uh, Indian motorcycle pickup. And then you've got a couple of Golfs. Uh, a couple others in there that are really, really, really cool. And then we have this one here, Texaco, which they all start kind of looking the same. So obviously this is not a re-release, but it's very similar to other ones because there's only so much they can do, right? But anyways, so there's that. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm going to cut the video and I will be back in just a moment. All right, so we're back. And... Good news, we don't have any major flaws on any of these, so we got lucky, and you know, people complain about build quality, but honestly stuff happens when you consider how many they make of these. 
Um, so we'll get right into it here, looking at these up close. Actually, let me get my lights while I'm at it. It should have been a little more prepared, but that's okay. There we go. So, first one we'll look at here is this blue Volkswagen Golf. Um, when I take them out of the package, I just gently tug on the bumpers, make sure they're all good, give them a quick roll, see if the tires are okay, um, wipe them all down, get all that grease off, and all that crap. And uh, yeah, we got lucky. I mean, there's that tiny, 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 tiny bit of baseline on this, but oh, it's super um, minor. The paint on this one is excellent. The windows are really good. Not TLV good, but certainly pretty dang good. Very simple looking front end there. I don't know why I can't quite get this to focus. There we go. Is that dented? That almost looks dented. Hmm. I don't think I picked it up on the light. I mean, kind of, not really. A little bit. I don't know. Nitpicking now. I love the interior in brown. You really can't get a close up there, but that looks really good. Let's see what the engine looks like here. We, if you've seen this casting, you know what the engine looks like, but it is pretty darn detailed for how small this little car is. And those wheels. Happy to add that one for sure. 1544 is the number there. I don't know what is up with my focus today. And GL. Doo, doo, doo. We're just not focusing. Doesn't matter. So there's that one. That one's an awesome piece. Happy that it's not all damaged. Excellent roller. The next golf we're going to look at has a little bit of base lean, but again, very, very, very minor. Um, I don't know why my camera's decided not to focus today, but here we are. So this one's a little bit different, more of like a racing version. This paint is crazy. What is up with... Ow. Hmm. Hold up. I'm going to see if I can fix that. <laughs> I doubt it, but I might need a new one. Sorry, my video cut out there for a moment. Um, that's upsetting. Might have to get another one of those. Um, not sure if I can fix that. I'm going to certainly try. I'm going to certainly try to fix that off camera. Um, that's very unfortunate. I didn't notice that. It's super small. Um, and this is, of course, going to be the hardest one to get. Um, yeah, it is what it is, unfortunately. So if I can get another one. Oh, Ninja Bay's green. That's pretty cool. So if I can get that fixed, we're good. If not, well, my buddy's getting some fresh, cool wheels for his donors. So there's that one. Number 2231 there. Yeah, man, that's the, that never happens. Dang, that's okay, though. Not a big deal, because I know I can replace it someday. So we got this one, Mexican Taxi. Looks great, very simple in white. Not sure what any of those numbers mean at all. This is the very basic Volkswagen tooling from Greenlight. Um, the early Motor World tooling with no opening parts. Um, it does have a metal base. 3696 is the tooling number, or tooling number, chassis number. Very skinny little axle there. It sits kind of goofy, they all kind of do. But just a simple little taxi here, I like the little Volkswagen thing there. Very basic, very simple, pretty nice though. Next, we'll look at the Texaco. V8 
vehicle here, the truck, kind of like this off cream with the red. I don't really like it that much, but yeah, it's okay. Definitely happy to add it to the collection. See, I don't know if it's just a series, like I don't know, if it's just random, I, I don't know. It seems the windows are getting better, but then you look at one or two and then they're like, oh my, it's horrible. Um, but their windows seem to be getting better. Pretty good detail there. Yeah, it's a great tooling. They've just made a bajillion of them. Lens detail there. And 4940 there. All right. Next, we'll look at the Pan Am. Again, this is an old um, motor world tooling, uh, but it is tooled with the metal base. 3542 is the number there. Excellent, excellent roller. Pan Am. In America World Airways, I think that says so small. Paint looks nice. I like this blue. Painted details in the front there. Not something I would normally collect. Like I'm not looking forward to it. It's not super exciting, but it is a very clean and simple deco. It even has the blue white uh, blue white walls. That doesn't make any sense blue striping on the rim or tires geez so that's pretty cool not a bad little piece all right so the last one we're going to look at from this series is this indian motorcycle one with the red and brown interior i love this one this one and i think the this one are going to be very hot in this set um Excellent roller. Tire appears to be a little bit off there, but no big deal. With the white walls. It's just a cool looking piece. I kind of wish it didn't have this. It would probably look better, honestly. My opinion. I do like that it has that on the front. Number 2060 there. Sounds pretty cool. <sighs> like I said, it was super frustrating with that orange one. Dang, that sucks. I'm going to have to talk to somebody and see if I can get a new one. Um, yeah, I'll show you all the miscellaneous. I haven't cleaned them at all. I need to still clean a couple of them. Um, well, all of them, really. Uh, I just got a bunch of random loose green light. I think they're all, or mostly all, dioramas. Uh, diorama pieces kind of a mixed assortment um but they were dirt cheap so like, why not right um first one we'll look at here is this matte black one again they need to be cleaned so forgive me they probably are a little bit dirty matte black with these like goldish uh flames very basic tooling because this came from a diorama you will get a plastic base and if you're looking for green lights or if you're searching through loose, loose green lights generally you can tell if it's from a diorama or a motor world maybe not even motor world. i think just dioramas they will not have a um chassis number like these and Motor World and Dioramas will have a plastic base. So if you're ever looking for loose green light, it's a good way to tell them apart and what series they could have come from. This came from a Motor World Diorama, which they didn't make a whole lot of, but some weird flames with all the black Volkswagens, I guess. Just a nice older, kind of tricky one to find. Nice to add it though. Um, this one, I, I think it came from a diorama, but I really couldn't find much information on it. Um, it's pretty neat. Surfboards and this this baby blue with the mouth on the front. It's kind of neat. Um, the white wheels, white bumpers. I don't know what that really says there. It's too small for me to read. There's a little bit of a paint flaw there, but super minor. The way the lighting um, reflects off the paint there is pretty cool. 
That was a very basic tooling as well. VW Sound I see no number there, so you know it's probably from a diorama or motor world. It's very old tooling. Um, next, we'll look at this one, which I know is from a um, diorama, I believe a motor world diorama. Beach bum boards, North Shore in Hawaii. Pretty cool. Silver bumpers, very, very basic. Sounds pretty cool. Custom surfboards. Again, plastic base. All the same. BBW panel van. Alright, next we'll look at this. I know this one comes with a roadside diner set, obviously, because it says roadside diner. Um, I believe it is a Motor World diorama as well. For some reason it's sitting a little bit funky. But not a big deal. I think just this axle is all pushed up a little bit. Other than that, this thing's mint. Um, yeah, this one's pretty neat. Like this matte silver, the chrome bumpers. Very light casting without the uh, metal base. Um, next we'll look at this one. I know it's very dirty. He told me this one's very, very dirty. I actually got this one for free. I'm not even sure what happened to it. This one is from the Volkswagen whatever mechanic. Uh, Motor World diorama as well. I should be able to clean this thing one up with some polish maybe. I'm sure this one's not easy to find. But that should clean up pretty easily. Well, they're not a very cool, simple looking little bus. Could use a little TLC, but it's not bad. And next, again, diorama. I think all of them are diorama except for one. Um, some sort of surfing bus. It's kind of a whatever one for me. But you know, I don't have it, so I gotta add it. Look how clear those windows are, too. Even those surfboards have a cool texture or look to them. They even look like real wood. So there's that one. And oh, we got a couple more. Yeah, I, mean, I got a lot. <laughs> Here's this one, a little bit of a wonky wheel, but you get this cool like metallic gold with the white. Bumper is a little bit loose there, so I gotta be careful. Not sure what I, what's up with that bumper. I'll probably bend that back in, it probably got pulled. These are very delicate. I can bend that back in, not a big deal. Um, That's all right. Ah, it's got a huge paint flaw there. So this one will have to go to the wheel donors. That's too much for me. Not a big deal. I, like I said, I got these for basically no money, like two bucks or something. So it doesn't really matter to me. And this one is probably one of the coolest ones. Check out that. It's like clapped out old bug. Blacked out steelies. This is from a, Mo a Motor World diorama. Look, I thought it was the drag VW bug from some hobby release. It was some TV VW bug, dragster, or whatever, but it's not. Um, I can't remember what that one looks like, but it looks sort of kind of the same thing. I think could be wrong. There's just too many to keep track of. Other than that, very simple. Simple um, Volkswagen Beetle here. Again, no number. Plastic base. And the last one we're looking at is a little bit interesting. Um, it's not this. This is what I pulled the parts off of. I had an extra one. This was mint. It's not clearly not anymore. I pulled the tires off of it, pulled the bumpers off of it, pulled the lights out of it. Because the lights I put in a Cadillac that was missing lights. Um, and the bumpers I put on this. And if you guys know this one, this one is from a Motor World regular release, uh, a late one, 
Um, but it had yellow bumpers and he gave me it for free um, because the bumpers were broken. And I basically just said, screw it. Um, I need to clean up the glue a little bit there. Um, I just took the bumpers off of that one, trimmed them up, and put them on this. And I think it looks all right. I mean, it fits pretty darn good if you ask me. It's a little big, but you almost couldn't tell. This needs a little bit of waxing, clean up that glue, and it looks all right. So I know kind of just a random all over the place video, lots and lots and lots of cars to look at. Again, such a shame about that one. I'll have to replace that. But uh, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.